Hi everyone! Tom was here, back at it with another unboxing video. And this time we have something I am very, very excited about. This is the OC Celebrity Marketing Hollywood Box number one. This is my first time opening an OC Celebrity Marketing box. Very excited about this one um, because they said the pools were crazy in here. All types of rare and interesting things. So when I got this box way back when, um, you know, it was a, a month or two ago, possibly, whenever they went on sale, I was decided I can't miss this box. I missed out on the Batman box, I have Ben Affleck in it from them, and, you know, a lot of people are doing the Disney box. I'm not as big of a Disney fan, so I didn't go in there. Um, but this is Hollywood, like Hollywood, movies and TV. So I uh, was very excited to see what is in this box. Now, this box has arrived later than most people's boxes, so I've actually seen some of the pulls. I've seen videos, I've seen some um, posts in different communities, uh, so I'm very excited about the contents of this box. Then I stumbled upon a conversation that was taking place in the Mystery Box Bunker where there's an active working theory that OC Celebrity Marketing has a tell in which some of the boxes are sent via postal service and if you have one of their bigger hits, it's sent via UPS, which is what this came at, UPS. So, it could mean something very, very exciting is in this box. But I'm not worried about the value, because based on what I've seen pulled, the value seems to be pretty good. In fact, you're getting beyond the value of the box on these pulls. So, the big question remains, I'm hoping this is something that will be for my personal collection, something I can keep, but if it's not, maybe something I trade or sell in one of these communities. Ideally trade, but let's not waste any more time. Without further ado, let's open it up and see what is inside this box. Now, when they announced this box, I agreed to get it and what it was gonna be was either a signed Funko Pop, a signed prop, and one other picture, signed picture. And what they did was they had a pre-Black Friday special where some people that had ordered the boxes, I didn't think about that part, <laughs> where they had ordered the boxes before, or if you ordered it before Black Friday to a certain point, they threw in an additional signed picture in them, which is really cool. So. Let's see, okay, it looks like a signed prop here, or a signed Funko Pop here, and a signed picture here. Okay, what do we want to pull out first? The Funko Pop. You sure you want to pull out the Funko Pop? Maybe that's the big hit. I don't know. I don't know what the big hit is. Okay. It's, well, let's start with just the, the it be three I think this might be the add-on picture, I'm not sure. I've actually seen this in a few people's boxes here. It is a signed picture, Beckett certified, of Don Wells, who was Marianne on Gilligan's Island. Now, <laughs> he has no idea who this is. Um, but there was an internal debate back then with people of a certain generation of Ginger or Marianne. Some people like Marianne, some people like Ginger. Um, but that's a really cool, I like the black and white on the photo. The, blue pen kind of stands out so that's a pretty cool one there um but definitely old um older tv a bit older than me i mean i watched gilligan's island as a kid because my parents watched gilligan's island you want to do the funko yeah okay so we got the funko pop i was truth be told i was hoping for a signed um prop item um but we got the uh, funko pop i hope it's a signed uh, jurassic park uh, uh jurassic park uh chris pratt okay Jurassic World. Okay. So this is going to require some. Okay. Oh. All right. I don't know why, but that noise gets me goosebumps. Really? Yeah. It's like that screechy noise. Okay, and it is another old TV show. It is a signed Funko Pop. Barbara Eden, I Dream of Jeannie. 
once again, a show that I could, you know, watch a few episodes on, but something he has no clue uh, about at all. Um, so, so far, two things, two older TV shows. Um, truth be told, not... I'm concerned about this in the sense that... I'm not saying the value is not there, because the value is there. But this is more, because these don't fit in my, like, personal collection, I feel like they're going to be tougher trades, because usually people that collect stuff are usually on the younger side, don't necessarily like older TV. But, oh, well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. And last but not least, this is big, but sadly not something for my PC either. Like, the whole box is going to be tradable, and I think we can also quelch the theory that because you get something UPS, you get one of the big pulls, because I've actually seen this one in other boxes before, and it is Elijah Wood, who I like. But I'm not a big Lord of the Rings fan. I've never been a fan of Lord of the Rings. I tried to get into it. Never could get into it. Uh, so not the exact... Um, not exactly what I was going for here in terms of this box. I have seen other pulls of this that were, you know, fit my collection better. Um, other pulls that I liked better. Other, other pulls that um, <laughs> I was hoping for, truly. Um, so sadly... Um, while I feel the value's there, my first foray into the OC Celebrity Marketing Box, uh, not exactly what I was hoping for in terms of PC stuff. Uh, this is going to be stuff that, that I'm going to um, attempt to put on there for sale or for trade. Um, you know, definitely, you know, I, I don't have any signed Funko Pops outside of, like, the BAM box. Um, and this one, as cool as it is, and you know, I Dream Genie was a cool show. It's not like something I would be like, like the idea for me, um, and I mentioned this in posts and I mentioned this in videos. Don't, don't pull it off. Yeah, because I, I'm probably going to end up trading it. So just keep it like on there like that. Um, but, uh, is I'm looking for some, something to, for me to rearrange my wall in the sense that. Give me something so good that I want to move stuff around to put it in there. Give me something so good that I would rearrange this bookcase so I could put something in there. Sadly, none of these are going to fill that um, void. Um, and that it kind of kills the UPS theory about you getting a big hit if you get a UPS because I've seen these all before. So... That'll wrap it up um, for the OC Celebrity Marketing Box. Not exactly what I was hoping for, especially some of like the more giant pulls um, that I saw that people were getting. I do um, like the Elijah one. Yeah, the Elijah one one's cool, um, but you didn't watch Lord of the Rings, did you? No, I didn't watch. I, but I did watch uh, him in like two seconds of Back to the Future. Right, in the, in the cameo in Back to the Future. And I liked Wilfred. He was great in that and Radio Flyer and The Good Son. You can name a whole bunch of Elijah Wood things that I wouldn't mind having a signed picture of. It's just sadly Lord of the Rings is not one of them. Um, so I should say that he should be the next Peter Parker. Like <laughs> He's getting too old. I mean, he's, he's still super young, the fact that he's been in movies all this long. Um, but yeah, not quite the pulls I was hoping for um, in terms of this, especially given some of the pulls that I've seen other people pull in the boxes. Um, but yeah, that um, these will probably be up for trade. Um, I'm going to try for trade before I attempt to like sell them on the, like the mystery box bunker 69 collectibles every other trade autograph site um because the idea is i want something that's for my pc not necessarily something that is um trade bait in the sense that i'd rather have the items that i pull from this box i've seen people pull stuff like uh, george costanza Yankees jersey. I've seen people pull stuff like, a, you know, even even though it wouldn't fit in my C, um, PC, like a Jerry Lewis signed beaker. I've seen people pull Willy Wonka golden tickets signed by all the kids. Um, so a lot of, you know, multi-signed cast pieces from like the Karate Kid. I would have been fine with most of those things. These things, I saw them in other boxes and I went, oh, please, hopefully, because it's coming UPS, these ones won't be on mine because I'm not into really too many of them, and sadly they were. But oh well. 
Um, probably going to be doing some more unboxing videos, hopefully within the next, um, you know, couple, like, week or two here. Um, we'll try to get into some different stuff there. Uh, ordered a BAM Horror Fire Sale box, um, so hopefully that'll be here, hopefully, like, this week or next week, along with the dis November BAM box and the snack crate and all that stuff. Um, but, yeah, that'll wrap it up. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you are new here, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description below. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, Spreadshirt Shop, I'm putting up new designs. I wanted to put them up last week, didn't get a chance to. Um, so thanks to Danny for that. Um, but yeah, uh, eBay store, new Facebook page. Make sure to check those out as well. But that'll wrap it up for the OC Celebrity Marketing Hollywood Mystery Box um values there but was hoping for <laughs> more things for myself but that'll wrap it up until the next video we will see you soon but until then bye everyone bye